Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Empire Dissolve Liu Hong Let's Play. We continue for episode 9 from turn 53 in the summer season 193. So, 195 is our goal because we will get our required reform and we will be able to pick up our palace and end this campaign. As there's not too much left to fight over, we have... Driven back most of the rebels, our one army that's pretty active right now with the excessive amount of juggernauts are here in Wei. We're going to give the land away uh, to Lu Zhi again, and we'll go hunt down these armies, perhaps go north, clean out the yellow turbans where we're... Actually, they have five territories. We're not cleaning that out, but we're going to go chase after them. In the meantime, take a gift from us. He's going to love it. We're not going to give him this right now. I needed to heal. And then we can go from there. Li Bu ditched us. A bit unfortunate. We're trying to march the Imperial Army back to the city. We're going to keep these two stacks over here to guard the left side of the map. We are probably pretty safe. There's no more threat. There's a little yellow turban enclave here, but it looks like Dong Min's faction is going to take care of that. We did wipe out Dong Zhuo for good. And it doesn't look like we should stay behind. Uh, we can try to grab Jashu. That's the only person. We can have characters we don't want. Huh. We actually can't even target him. Let's get Joel B down a little. Let's see if we can get him to do the discrediting. Then once he's down, can we... No, not even letting us do that. All right. Su so Yul can do the job. Wrong faction. Nope, he just does not want to be bothered. That is fine. So, Lady Me obviously would be a character we're interested in. But I doubt we can grab her. Ceiling, perhaps. Ooh. So we know there's a lot of anti spy I'm going to be careful there. Faction leader return to us. Who will be heir? A random nobody, huh? Wait, Domin didn't become faction... No, Domin is faction leader. Yeah, so we can have her come back. Dongzhuo's wife. We need an empty slot to see if we can get other candidates to join us. Alright, now we're poor. That's fine. They will guard Gu Path over here. Nobody's back on the map. So happy to see him. Now, because Lu Bu ditched us, we can divorce now. Now we're back on the market. We also have a son on the market. I I doubt we can get a marriage confederation. I don't think any leader are single. Oh, we know Lu Bu is single, actually. Wouldn't that be something? We divorce him, ask him if he wants to get remarried, but we want his faction this time. We were just married. He's not single anymore. He got himself a wife. I'm fairly sure everyone has a wife. I don't think no one... We can steal Torrent, which would be a notable grab. But not interested in that marriage. So we're just going to be single the rest of the game. 
we had our little fling. It didn't work out. He ditched us. And then we divorced him. How dare he take the land right in front of us to taunt us. Anyways, we move on. We can maybe use that army as an example. Ooh, they're pouring in actually. We need to go back. Our northern little trip, I don't think it's going to happen. They failed. Alright, Glossa comes back. That's totally okay. We do... We do want him. His bonus is minus 10% construction cost. Uh, his association here is a bureaucrat. Okay, so he's quite useless. She didn't get any item, but she's three dynasties, so she's useful. Now I'm thinking about ways to get Guasa killed. All right, these two, I don't know. They don't feel very friendly. We can practice our weapon on her. See how this army runs. I can't believe it's giving us a Pyrrhic victory. How? How are these two things equivalent? But then again, we just had a Hui Let's Play where we ran these all over China. But still, eight. There's uh, 32 of them, technically. This tree line here, that's where the yellow turbans will die. Uh, it's hard to stretch these guys out in a single file. There's too many of them. We stagger them a little bit, but then we might end up blowing fire into each other. So we kind of have to single file. I can tighten the single file a little bit, like this. So that we're not so spread. What if we double stack? Yeah, let's do that, actually. They might not be able to spin well. Well, that's a complete overlap. Ah, this is going to be difficult to set this, just to set this up. Okay, so let's see if we can just rotate that a little bit. I guess the game was never intended to be played this way. We could also do a first wave, second wave setup, where we assume the first position will get overrun by some enemy units, and then we'll prepare a second position. But I'd rather not. I'd rather pretend we don't get overrun. Not pretend, we'd rather not get overrun. That tree bothers me. I feel like we're gonna light it up and burn ourselves. All right, this is our setup. Behind that is this, behind that is this. We'll just kind of hover around them, so if they do get charged, we'll have some units capable of fighting right next to them. But for the most part, we're not walking forward. I'll try a few duels, not the strongest, as proven by our defeat last time. I don't know if they'll even make it out of the forest with the tribuchets. There's a lot of fire going into peasants.
It's night battle plus fire in the forest. Just the morale. Yeah. It's not happening. Alright, that was smooth. Who's next? All the units have scattered already. Every single one of them. But I want to see our juggernauts. Alright, tribuchet, stop firing. Stop firing. Let them have a shot. Not the range unit though. Does he have scare? He does not, so it's not him. Well, killing their generals is not helping. They're also fatigued, right? Because they're on march. That's also a morale debuff. Night battle. Yeah, they're not coming back. All right, just just bomb away. Oh, never mind. Maybe. Ah, uh, we ruined it. Well, Sunifrong had a fun time. Three executions. Ah, he routed. We'll find a battle. We'll find something for these guys. Next time, no night battle. We don't need the Mara help. Mm, we need to go back. We should give Shandong walls at least. Pretty sure he's. F oh, the younger brother went with the older brother in the Civil War? That's a bad idea. You should stick with dad. You inherit. Minus 20. Yeah, we're just not able to target him. We want his stuff, so he should come back to us. And we can just disown her, I guess, at this point. The heir didn't take over, they randomly assigned one? Or did they civil war here? Shiro wants out as well. Poor guy, if he was more impressive. So I think we grab a few more of Taotian's characters as we set up potentially for a run at Lady Mi. So we know there's some spy defense, 36 points, interference that. There's no more. Oh, she's way too happy. Never mind. Who's heir? Lady Gun, way too happy. Uh, drop him. Oh, he picked up a eunuch. What a foolish decision. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to grab anything from him. I think Dong Zhuo's sword is coming back to us, though. Sword of Xiangyu. I'll look forward to that. We could summon a few generals. Oh, we're out of money, though. I mean, if they siege the Imperial armies right next to the capital. We're going to be totally fine. They did land. Leave both factions destroyed. <laughs> Coming back, honey? 
We would welcome you with open arms. No hard feelings for leaving. Lu Zhi's faction. I don't think we need anyone from him. I'm just going to disown her. All right, we're going to maybe try this group. All right, this time, no night battle. We're still near forest. Maybe we can get it to work. I could just line the beasts up. I mean, if there's only not the main trees here, I could just line them up in front of them and just start blowing fire on them. Oh, it's also rainy. Hmm. This is like not how we want them to fire. Feels like we should force them to fight here. That's how long it needs to be for us to spread out eight of these. Yeah, we'll rotate the rest over. I'm gonna stop these guys from firing in the beginning. Okay, I think we'll be okay. Reinforcement from the garrison. We don't need that. Please leave. All right, we'll still pick up the duels. Free experience. We're already rank seven. These three Baron Generals are, are the real winners of this campaign. Didn't get fired. Only guys with armies. I guess if these are not on, they don't charge. We need them to charge or else... Or else they don't even get close enough to our juggernauts. Show finally can start. They threw cow traps at us. The cow trap is more range than us. It's okay, but they're about to get into our range. Fire and rain. Fire and rain. Uh, we don't need these. Thank you. Let them approach the kill field.
Oh, the angle is bad there. No one's gonna get to this area, are they? It's already over. It's already army loss across the board. He's gonna make it. Oh my god. Crossfire. That one poor guy. Actually, the trebuchet might just finish them, but they're in range. Let's go. We killed a hundred of them in one blast. We can have offensive juggernaut movements, technically. There's no reason why we can't just outrange them. Alright, we just charge them and then blow fire on them, and they die. We're slow, but we do catch up. Okay, we're never going to catch up, but that was a pretty scary fight for them. Fun time for us. Yeah. Liu Chong took out Liu Bu. I don't think there's much to do. Like, Liu Chong could be a fun target to take a look at. See who else left. Oh. I mean, kill your brother, become leader? We could wait for that moment. We can't civil war another like it's ready civil war, so we can't civil war another civil war. Not much to gain. Looks like Daddy Liu Belt kept most of the goods. We could go fight these, but I really don't see a point. Not as fun as our Juggernaut army. Alright, let's continue. They're just sailing. They're not actually landing. I guess Liu Bu is not coming back to us.
We can also take a look at who he has. Xun Yu. 38. It's not very high. He has a lot of counter spying. I mean, we patiently wait to kill our brother. Can't get another spy in that faction. It's gonna be hard to pick up Lady Me or Dealing, actually. Alright, so they're good, they're good. I guess we could go north. Get that stable, get that pasture that we always talked about. Oh, they have a kid? Oh, he's our spy too, so there's no point. We have our sword. Who should ah? Of course, we know who should wield it. What's it? One dynasty, quite useless. Three dynasty. Ah, oh, they're just pretty useful. Anyhow, I mean, his bonus is not terrible either. We can afford the satisfaction drop, replenishment bonus. So, since he's also Dynasty, who can we move? We can't move anyone because no one fit this role. I'm I'm her stepbrother. I should count for this position. Our son Liu Bian could come in here. We'll sign him. And then it's a matter of making space. Everyone's bonuses are quite good. I guess we it's time to fire the last eunuch. We don't need this bonus anymore. We can get rid of bureaucrat once and for all. We get a very similar replenishment bonus from the Juet, who has 5%. Yeah, we just dipped everyone's satisfaction by 15 points, and everyone's still not complaining, so that's good. Let's just make sure that, that no one's going to complain there. Now, the retinue upkeep of this army. I suspect... Kledzian's army is zero. It's not going to go negative, so... Ready as low as it can be. There's 90% just from them two, 5% from this, 5% from this. So we hit 100%. We can try to bring it even lower and see what happened to it. But basically, we have a free Imperial Army from how we have the court set up. Anyhow, uh, nothing we can do there. I don't think there's much we can do diplomatically. We're just basically out of it because of the treachery we have. I don't think any faction's gonna like dealing with us. I mean, he somehow dislike us quite a bit. We can make 25 point go away, but that's about it. Recently, yeah, he cares about the broken deals, so there's no way. Yeah, there's just no way. We're two reforms away. We're about to get one soon. Our generals are at the gate passes.
<laughs> I mean, he is the Civil War splinter faction. Uh, I don't care about these. This might come in useful. It's for five turns. So I guess it times out next season. Doesn't really matter. We can reroll a bad trait. Experience for the army. Next turn, brother dies. They're just too happy. We've got to try to get another. There's quite a faction going, so we need to save points. Can't do anything this turn. He picked up energetic. Good for him. The reroll. We're so close. So close. The six bureaus of bureaucracy. Liu Bu. This is not a Han Dynasty ordeal. Uh, this is a later invention of Chinese court. The one additional administrator might be helpful, but we're just five turns away. We're going to go pretty fast because there's not too much to do. I'm going to take that. We'll see how much of the northern yellow turbines we can destroy in the five turns. Ah, Liu Yao is working for Lu Zhi. Wu Kong's faction got destroyed. Good thing we have food. Oh, he ran. We don't need to test the negative upkeep theory because these have 4%. We have two of these, and he has cavalry, and these are not generating any money, so just 0% it is. Goodbye, brother. No hard feelings. There's only... Oh my god. There's only two of them in the faction, and they're killing each other. Oh. Well, I'm asking them to do it, but uh, and then I'm going to ask him to leave and the game's going to generate a character that's not in the faction to take over the faction. Because the, you can't have nobody in a faction. I took care of your family feud. You know, they both ditched you. You had to pick someone with Taishu as your clan name, as your heir. Oh, who? Oh, oh, we have the heir. Your new heir doesn't like you either. Okay, so Liu Bao is also going to die. Oh dear. We're having too much fun killing killing faction leaders. Mm, do we have mistrust here? We do. Let's see if we can work on someone else. He's ready minus 50. Drop her to 41. I don't think Lady Me turncoats we have to like chase her out of the faction it's pretty much impossible we're gonna save our cash we're gonna need it to wait i wonder if we could do a deal with like you would think oh we can also marry him wait that's gonna be weird because well first of all it's, it's weird but he becomes faction leader, but we receive him through a marriage. He's also our spy. He's currently heir. 
yeah, we can't force it through. The, the, the processing here, it's going to be weird for the game to figure out exactly what's going on. I mean, we have a peaceful Han faction. Everyone's Kumbaya. A couple of feuds here or there. No one's bothering us. Life is normal. Rebels on the fringes. Some pirating on the Yellow River. See, feuds are over. So, are you a faction of one? Oh, he recruited Zhang Yang. Zhang Yang's not heir, though. Come back. Uh, we save points and we kill Liu Bell as well. There's just not much to do. Uh, we don't have enough points. It's really hard to get points in Haltian's faction for some reason. His anti spy measures. I think it's because he went down the blue side of the reform tree and he has a bunch of reforms. Oh, our dynasty is overflowing. It's okay. Our diplomacy is completely shot. So having dynasty overflow is not a bad thing. It is what it is at this point. We have one active army. Ooh, a concubine. Good items. Good Who should get the concubine? I should get the concubine. All right, we're good. Let's just end turn. Coral survived. Coral has his faction. Somehow a rank 7 faction uh, settlement with no food support whatsoever. Oh! Lobel killed her before she killed him. Smart move. And she could have died for other reasons. Uh, it's maybe not discovery of the spying situation. It could be... It could be unrelated. She could be in the field and got killed. <laughs> Yeah, it's peace at home. No one to recruit. Took out our spy. They picked a new leader. Yeah, we got... You guys only had a... I mean... Splinter factions only get a stone pig. That makes sense. Does he contribute one dynasty? Useless. It's okay. We can salary them. Now, is there any chance we can see Ryosia come of age? 12. No. It's too long. Not cooking through four more years just to see him grow up. Empress He is going to see the end here as the Empress Dowager.
Yeah, once the Emperor dies, she is no longer Empress. She's Empress Dowager. So her title, her name, doesn't make a lot of sense anymore. Oh, Zhou Tai is making friends with the eunuch. Oh, they're running away. They, I mean, you got 32 machines that breathe fire. It, it makes sense. Um, let's step out. We're family. Give you... Oh, come on. He's a subject member. We are going to heal through that land no matter what. All right, one more turn. We get our palace and it's game over. We get paid. There's an in-game mission for it too. So we're technically doing our in-game assignments. We could have signed a character to reduce the cost and turn limit, but we have saved enough money to just rush it, so it doesn't really matter. Oh? Through the event, or did he actually get killed? I mean, looking at the map, Sun Jian's doing quite well. Nice little southern expansion going on. Duchy of Zhong Yuanshu is doing quite well. Liu Yan, Gongdu is doing well. Naman's a mess. High Empire still hanging on down south. Liu Bell is not very strong. Liu Chong is doing well. Lu is doing well. Gifted land by us. Dong Zhuo's former faction is kind of kind of there. Tao Tian is doing well. All right, let's pick our. Final reform, what we've been waiting for, the mandate of heaven itself. Also means we have access to yellow dragons. Fun units, we can we can fill a whole roster of them just for kicks and giggles. And we also get Imperial Household Cavalry. I mean, we had that, I guess. Wait, what other unit gets unlocked? I thought. There is a cavalry unit. Oh, we do get an imperial household cavalry from this. I mean, we had them the whole game here, so it's not anything special. Let's make it more grand. Give us another item. Marry our son off. Ooh. Actually, marry our son off. Li Shu Wan. Uh, just a randomly generated character. 31. Found an old one for our son. More mature. Yep, I'm gonna have to just leave it at that and pop our palace, a 10 turn building. 2,500 cost. Uh, we have quite a few discount from our administrator. Minus 10 public order, which is kind of weird. Uh, we get income on this. I think this is the Mandate of Heaven tier 5. We get income on the final tier. Elite Garrison. I mean, we have Elite Garrison. So let's see 
what we get afterward. I think it's the same because we also picked the assignment for it. Not the assignment, the faction council. Oh, it gets better. We get dull infantry. They're borrowing unit from eight princes. It gets better because we get an eight princes unit from the future. Okay, pretty cool. Now, they're, they're not that strong. They're stronger than this, but I guess for captains, this is decent. Our capital defense has always been good. That was our final mission. We completed everything. We restored both capitals. Um, if we... Hold on. If we just max the tax to max the food, can we rebuild Chang'an to its former glory as well? Oh, we're just out of cash at this point. Uh, but technically, we could. Or maybe we just keep it at a couple, one tier below just to make the case that it's no longer the capital. The capital is over here now. We can build a summer palace of sorts here. This one. All right. And we're out of cash. So that's going to do it for this Let's Play. Uh, Empire Dissolve is kind of interesting. Uh, it's not very difficult. I think the person who left the comment and just challenged it either didn't think it through or maybe they assumed that this would just stay at war. But when you dissolve your empire, you actually are not at war with any of your subjects or former subjects and you can sustain your economy. And to be honest, being given the best army in the game with a discount, severe discount in the beginning, makes the game very easy to play. Assuming you know enough mechanics to fix your court, you know enough mechanics to fix your replenishment so that you can have them heal back at a decent rate. Uh, we didn't get any garlic or water clock in this let's play. If you had those two items, it would be even easier. Just put them on Hejin and you get additional percentage, 3%, 10%, I think, uh, which makes the healing a lot simpler. You don't have to use a eunuch, but in the end, we changed our court. We kept two eunuchs. Uh, we kept 10 in the... We kept we kept 10 in the beginning, and then we moved it down to 3 after the Emperor died. And that's where we stayed, I think. We left, we chased one away. We fired the one who was giving us replenishment at the very end, and that dropped us way below. We kept the friend of He. Even give him a cool sword to award him. Uh, but regardless, the campaign ends, and uh, we'll be moving on to a new one in the future. So temporarily speaking, this time slot is going to see some change. Wolong, the Fallen Dynasty, comes out tomorrow, and I intend to put that in this time slot. We'll revisit the fall of the Han in a very mythical and Dynasty Warrior-like fashion. Uh, I think the character setup and the storyline had a lot of help from the Dynasty Warrior team, as it is a collaboration between Team Ninja, uh, team Ninja who, made, um, who made the game with... Uh, the team behind Dynasty Warriors. So they're going to have a lot of story element that's shared, uh, which means it's going to be pretty much based on the novel for the most part. And we'll get to see some familiar faces in that game in a very different type of gameplay compared to Total War games. But we'll return to Total War Three Kingdoms. I intend to play Zhang Yan, a bandit faction. I believe he is the only base game faction that I have never played on the channel. So... It's time to complete that. We'll get a giant let's play through and um, we'll see when that will happen. It'll probably get announced in the community post. We'll have some sort of poll about which mods we'll be using because we've gone through two vanilla let's plays. I think it's time for some mods. I got some really good recommendation of mod lists from people and I might try that out, see if it works well with a bandit let's play. And um, we'll see you guys then. Bye.